is one of this country's most popular and talented actresses. We all remember her as Sandra, co-starring in the successful BBC series with Polly James. That's Ivor Birch, of course, we all remember that. Ran for 11 years and which won her Comedy Actress of the Year. Now, this was later followed by the title role in The District Nurse, a BBC classic period drama set in the mining valleys of 1930s South Wales. She is Welsh herself, and the name like Neris, you couldn't be anything else. Now, Neris has also appeared with many of the major theatre companies in films, numerous TV dramas, and sitcoms, and as a monster mother-in-law in the BBC's Portrait. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're so pleased to welcome back Neris Hughes, who will be introducing us to the world of Shirley Valentine and her son Brian's nativity play. Ladies and gentlemen, Neris Hughes. <laughs> Teachers just said he was loop for loop, and that was that. I agreed with them. But the headmaster, the headmaster was fascinated by our Brian. He likes studying him. He said to me, There's no malice in the child, no malice whatsoever. But it would appear that Brian has no concept of consequences. I think what we have to do with Brian is to try and give him more responsibility. So, I've decided to give him the star part in the Nativity play this year. Well, when Brian learned that he got the part of Joseph, he was made up with himself. Oh, God, I love him. He thought he'd be picked because he was great at acting, and I couldn't say anything because it was working, you see, this psychology. All the time he's rehearsing this Nativity play, his behaviour is fantastic. The headmaster's made up with him. I'm made up with him. The teachers are made up with him. And he's made up with himself. He's practising every night in his room. We are weary travellers on our way to Bethlehem. And my wife is having a baby. And we need to rest at the inn for the night. Well, the day of the show, I got down to the school. The play started. And it was lucky, you know, all the little angels come on and they all have a little sly wave to their minds. Then it was our Brian's entrance. He comes on and he's pulling this donkey behind him. It's like this hobby horse on wheels. And perched on top of it is this little girl taking the part of the Virgin Mary. And she's dressed beautiful, you know. Her mother's really doggy around to be the part. And she's given a little wave to her mum. So Brian gives the donkey a bit of a tug because he's taking it dead serious. And he doesn't believe they should be waving to their mouths. He's up there, he's acting like he might win the Oscar. You know, he's miming, giving hay to the donkey and patting his head. Well, the headmaster turned round and smiled at me. I think he was as proud of Brian as I was. Well, Brian gets to the door at the end and he goes, knock, knock, knock. And the little innkeeper appears. Our Brian starts. We are weary travellers on our way to Bethlehem and my wife is having a baby and we need to rest for the night at the inn. So, the little fellow playing the innkeeper pipes up. You cannot stay at the inn because the inn is full up and there is no room at the inn. And then our Brian is supposed to say something like, Well, we must go and find a lowly cattle shed and stay in there. Then he's supposed to go off pulling the donkey and the Virgin Mary behind him. But he didn't. <laughs> Well, I don't know if it's the Virgin Mary getting off our Brian's nose because she spent the whole scene waving to her mother, although it was just that our Brian suddenly realised that the part of Joseph wasn't as big as it had been cracked up to be. <laughs> but whatever it was, instead of going off pulling the donkey, he suddenly turned to the little innkeeper and yelled at him, Fall off! Fall off! Mm -hmm. 
brother and someone to rescue him and his bottom lips beginning to tremble and our Brian's going, follow up! I've got the wife outside waiting with the donkey. She's expecting a baby any minute now. There's snow everywhere in six foot drifts and you're trying to tell me that you're full up. <laughs> well, the top brass on the front row are now beginning to look a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> They're beginning to turn and look at the headmaster and now Brian's given a perfect imitation of his father on the back day. <laughs> anything that dares move. The little innkeeper's lip is going ten to the dozen. The Virgin Mary's little to tears on the donkey. 